She's celebrating her 60th anniversary. The iconic Space Needle, known for her innovation, transformation, and now rotation with the world's first and only revolving glass floor. So we call it the loop, um, L-O-U-P-E, just like the uh, tool a jeweler looks at, looking down into a watch to see all the little sprockets and gears turning. We thought the loop was sort of the perfect name to describe this space. The revolving floor is made with 37 tons of glass, and it takes 30 minutes to make one full rotation. I have to admit that it took me about 10 minutes to have the guts to come out here and walk out here. But I tell you what, it's one of the coolest things around. Yeah, I, you, you are a good representation of our guests. It, some, some people, most people are slow it's to like... warm. <laughs> it is the, the first and only revolving glass floor. It's, it is unique. No matter what floor you're on, the view is never the same. The way it changes from the mountains, the weather, the snow, the water, the ships, the buildings, even in the past few years, you know, the last 10, 20 years, especially as Seattle's been one of the fastest growing cities in America, we get to see that, you know, we call it the crane forest out there, you know, all the new buildings, the interesting architecture we see, the way the view changes, and uh, the things that make Seattle so special, we get to see from here too. I'm Snapchatting myself. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're gonna Snapchat, this is like the spot, right? It is, it sure is. Would you, let me see the shot you got. Whoa, th now that's a Snapchat. It sure is. <laughs> The Space Needle, always shaking things up with innovation, especially with the Loop Lounge, mixing creativity with spectacular vistas. I feel like when you have such a fantastic view, you really have to, you know, for lack of a better term, elevate the food and beverage offerings as well, and so I love being a part of that. Joseph Dietrich is the man behind the mixology magic. He specializes in creating colorful cocktails, like the swine in space. <laughs> Made with Whistle Pig Piggyback, it's a six year rye. And then our house made warm spice syrup. To that we're gonna add a little bit of Angostura bitters, a little bit of aromatics. Now the fun part, I like to finish it with a little bit of smoke. Today we're gonna use cherry wood, and as it's filling up the chamber, it's slowly flavoring our cocktail. At 550 feet above ground, the bar is pretty high to beat the swine in space cocktail. No problem for Joseph. All right, now we're gonna make a cocktail that we call the Rocket Man. This is a, a really wonderful tropical cocktail featuring 10 to one white rum, a little bit of calamansi syrup, uh, acidified pineapple juice, and then some coconut cream. Then when the guest is ready, let's get a little bit of vapor to finish it off. So Joe, those first two drinks were off the chain. They were so cool, but can you top it? I can top it, I'm about to. Today we're gonna make an edible cloud for our third cocktail. What is this thing? So this is a, a very oh. special, special garnish that we have. Hey, oh, cool. hey, hey Barb, wake up. Don't get mesmerized by that. <laughs> Look at this thing, that is cool. It's a flying cloud of flavor, charged with Healy, ready to go on your cocktail. Joseph got busy making the ground control, mixing local distilled gin with Aleppo pepper infused honey. Now one of the things we really like doing, again, is creating these experiences for our guests up here. So this is one of the cocktails that we actually chill Whoa. with liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Boy, that's cold. I can feel that. 270 degrees below zero. It's, look at this. Definitely don't want to drink it at this point. Now, it's important to keep it moving. Uh, liquid nitrogen is so cold that it will actually freeze the top of the drink if we don't move it fast enough. So, got to keep it spinning. And we're almost there. It's kind of like the Space Needle. You got to keep it going. Got to keep it going. If it stops spinning, we've got problems. This one will work. Oh, there we go. And then you put that right the on the drink. Right on top of the cocktail. Wow. And can I try it? Please yeah. do. I'm gonna try this thing. Look at that, how, how pretty is that? You know, it's a fantastic cocktail, right? Especially with the view. Oh my gosh, and, and the clouds for Seattle. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Wow. That is so clean, so fresh. I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So glad I got to share this with oh, you. Oh, so good.